Hello everybody, welcome back to Vergen. Um, nice to see you all. So, uh, hope you're doing well. I'm not quite sure what we'll do this session. Um, I'm going to check my journal and have a read through things, find out what we're doing. I think we still have to go and turn, the, turn this quest in or something, I can't remember. Um, that's why I'm going to check the journal. I seem to be doing a lot better. Uh, reason being is that you guys, you know, aren't really giving me um, a whole lot of advice, which I'm taking as either, you know, I'm doing okay and I don't need it, or, you know, you're not watching anymore because I'm not getting a lot of comments anymore, as <laughs> I'm just saying. It's, uh, you know, it was really nice when you guys were, were commenting and saying, you know, this and that and whatever, and, and now I'm, you know, people still are, you know, a couple of people, but not many. Um, so, you know. It'd be nice if, 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 if you know, you, you let me you know you're still there. That's, that'd be cool. So, uh, right. We've got a dot there, so let's see what that's about first. We have um, uh, one talent to spend. So let's see where that's going to go. Um, bigger, re re bigger regeneration in combat, 10%, and then probably about 50 or something. Which we'll Let's just cast more spells. I really do feel we should go down in the alchemy things. I don't. I don't want to concentrate too much on one thing, and that's something that I've decided. Don't you know? Somebody said at one time, uh, a couple of videos back, that you know, power gamers would sort of max out or at least get to the end of one sort of tree. But I don't particularly want to do that, and you know, we are mixing it up quite a bit. So I feel that we should be. Oh, there you go. Well, there's extra vitality and then potion duration. Or do we want to go bombs and bomb damage and trap damage? Duration's a little more, um, you know, the vitality, oh, 100, and um, yeah, the vitality and the um, duration's a bit more flexible than the uh, alchemist thing, uh, you know, with the uh, trap damage, so... And it goes into there, whatever. But yeah, so we'll, we'll take that. And then we'll have a look at our journal and see what the hell we're doing. Because there's a lot going on. Now, okay, so this one's done. Good. And we've been rewarded. And this one is done as well. Found the herb, headed for surface. Um, for searching for remaining ingredients. Okay. So. Let's see if we can find. Let's just go through them all in order, I suppose. Okay. So, hunting magic. One of the ingredients needed for the Dragon Slayer's cure was a magical artifact, and I am radiating powerful energy. Headed out. Uh, so, told Garrett the sorcerer once lived nearby forest. So, we have to go and find a sorcerer. For some reason, sorceress uh, could not scrape on the fly. Ten was against them, so which needed uh, to head outside to ask around the town about magical intersections, which apparently is near here. So there's that. Um, I need to go and see Hensel and Stennis about their blood. Oh no! Wait a minute. Um, the Witcher would have an easier time obtaining either of those as it was had to acquire some royal blood. Yeah, okay, so I've got to go and see one of them too. Triss is on the other side of the fog, as we found out. Um, so we've got to clear that in order to uh, find her, which is why we're here in the first place, really. Um, about to search for the Dunbanner Standard, believed to be the symbol of death and the sword that belonged to the infamous commander named Vandergrift. So we got that. This is the, the main quest, basically. Harpy contract, which is what we're trying to do. Um, oh, we got this one as well. There's, there's bodies of elves being found. Searched the uh, the village for clues, but it could not help but notice a braiding scent of sulfur. Um, a succubus is near. So we can go to the Dwarven Catacombs, which I think is where the... Uh, Banner is as well, I think. Let's 
some sort of crypt. That's where that is. And hatred, which is the sword. Uh, there's still a lot to do. <laughs> Not that it's a bad thing. The sword is... I'm not sure where it is. They belong to Saskia, okay. The witch who had stolen from the dead or died in the past is decided to stay his hand. Yeah, okay, so. But, alright, and the flickering heart is right. So let's track this one. It doesn't uh, give us any uh, information on that. Catacombs. Let's go and find that. So let's just see what sort of direction we're heading in. Is it up there? Alright, so we're gonna go up there and we're gonna leave basically. Now I have 242 orange, so that's not really enough to go shopping with, so I'll bother with that. But it is times like this, especially see I'm going up here now, I'm going the wrong way entirely. Um, when you sort of like leave a game and come back to it and only play it for one hour a week, it's quite easy to get bamboozled and a bit turned around with this sort of uh, questing system, which of course is, you know, indicative of... Alright, we'll go up there. Yes, because we've seen that before, haven't we? We turned around. Um, Don't you know, try anything. With there being so much going on, so many quests here and everywhere, side quests conjoined with main quests and everything like that, it's, you know, it's difficult to uh, sort of keep it all together in your head and join the dots. So I felt I just had a little look in my journal there and see. Okay, so yeah, the outskirts of Vergen. So this is about where we sort of like stopped. have some stuff to sell actually don't I so I could sell these I don't really or should we just press on we might find a, a merchant this way ah. you never know anything really valuable no oh, hello greetings yeah, I think I've seen you before, haven't I? Yeah, this, I'm going to take stuff like that, you know. I mean, it's it's rare, and uh, I'm doing these guys a favour at the end of the day. It's a little different from um, the, the village. The leader, though clad like a soldier, had a feminine face to stir awe. And the breast, ah, a maiden I saw, the Virgin of Edern. Behold her. The insurgent leader, Saskia. Hey guys. What's up? I don't like you, Witcher. Blah, blah, blah. I've killed Rivians before. Blah, blah, blah. Fuck off. Oof. Kedmil. Greetings. <laughs> what are you doing out here this late? Thinking. That was an interesting greeting she gave me instantly, but you know, we'll give that a go. About what? About the approaching fight. As long as the Mist of Wraiths is up, there won't be a fight. I ponder something else. We women must leave the shadows. When fighting, we're equal to men. But off the battlefield. I'm not sure I understand. Care to explain? Were I the best strategist and the bravest warrior, they still wouldn't give me an army to lead. And all because I was born a woman. You're an exception. Not many women share your dreams. <laughs> they do, Witcher. But they say nothing as they fear being ridiculed. You like being laughed at, singled out in a crowd. I'm a Witcher, a freak. I'm a sensation wherever I go. It won't be easy, but you could try to blaze a trail. A worthy endeavor in itself, I know. Thank you, Witcher. Godspeed. Don't know why I was so nice to her after that thing, but you know. 
I've killed Rivians before. Well, good for you. I've Rivian. killed plenty of elves as well. Prepared in their races just cause I've killed more elves than you've killed Rivians, I assure you of that, good sir. What was that? It's me. Hello there. Greetings. But you might have been a, a star. Hmm. Give all these people names. Which is good, I guess. So that's going somewhere. <laughs> Let's have a look in here first. So these outskirts are obviously not used by the dwarves because they're quite uh, deserted. Uh, well, you know, if they're deserted, pretty, I mean, the elves are here, but that's, the elves aren't normally here, are they? So. Oh, Greetings, hi. Gwynblade. Here you are. I thought you'd be around here. Tell me about this Dwan for whom the Scoia'tael are ready to do battle. Saskia? She's no Dwan. Certainly not like the others. You've seen her. I doubt I need to explain. She's fighting for a Pontar Valley for dwarves, elves, and humans alike. I thought you despised humans. I may only be a warrior, but I'm no fool. This is the best we can hope for now, and it's better than the Valley of Flowers. Hmm. I did. I once met another Scoia'tael leader. Yavin. I knew him. He had beautiful dreams and desperately wanted me to share them. Asked the same of you, I heard. You know a lot about me. I try to know as much as I can about everyone. I'm a witcher. I remain neutral. I didn't take his side. Perhaps that is the correct attitude. Let things run their course. It's worse if we then wonder what could have been had we acted differently. I try to avoid that. Decisions should be evaluated before they're made, not after. How is it that we're on the same side today? Things change. Today I have different goals and different allies. Hmm. You think you can repel Henselt's army? No. What do you mean, no? <laughs> the fortifications and dwarven devices are simply not enough to hold off the Kedwenis. They are just too many. What do you plan to do? You'll see. One thing I can promise. I won't break any pledge I've made. What do you mean, no? <laughs> I didn't really expect to hear that, did he? Anything new about Letho? No. But I wager he's somewhere on the other side of the fog. I can feel it. Roach could be on the other side of the fog. In that case, I'll finally get him. I came close in Flotsam. Are units like the Blue Stripes common? The Blue Stripes are uncommon, let me assure you. Efficient, ruthless, and well-led, they're your version of the Squirtel. But you're right, there are other units. Each kingdom has a few of them, smaller or larger. They were a reaction to our operations behind the lines during the wars with Nilfgaard. These units recruit only those who have nothing left to lose. They're persuaded it's all for a greater good and a spoon-fed dreams of revenge for the death of their loved ones. They gradually lose any vestige of humanity, kill when ordered to without hesitation. Of course, the same happens to regular soldiers. Only these special units actually enjoy hunting elves. Hmm. It's interesting how, uh, yeah, <clears throat> I was going to say that, how the language in the game, how he uses humanity as a good thing when he doesn't like humans. I know it's part of the English language, isn't it? You know, it's like, you know, your humanity, you know, is, is what makes you human and therefore is a good thing. But to an elf who doesn't like humans, he wouldn't use it in that context. And yet that's how the line was written. I don't, it's just the... The way it's worded in the conflict between the way the world works and the language that we use in the real world, I guess. Minor thing. Not really criticism, just an observation. You're a lot alike, your Scoia'tael and them. You've turned into the same killing machines. Said a witcher. Hmm. Precisely why I know what I'm talking about. I've been stripped of the capacity to experience pleasure from killing. When they made me, someone knew what they were doing. 
I doubt anyone knows these days. But thank you for your harsh words. They say the truth heals. Many a poison can cure, provided the dose is small enough. Hmm. Been after him for a while? Ever since he became leader of the Blue Stripes. During his first mission as commander, he ambushed one of my units, cut it down to the last elf. Surprised me for the first and last time. I've been more cautious since then. You do realize that a dozen others will replace him when he's gone. Possibly dirtier foes, possibly worse. Better to have a known enemy, you say? That doesn't apply to Vernon. A more determined demon has never walked upon this earth. The longer he is active, the better he gets. I must put an end to it. So it's a personal matter. Vengeance. A theme straight out of Dandelion's ballads. The safety of the Squirtal demands his death. Of the commanders first appointed to such units, he's the only one still alive. I notice there's no Temerian emblem in your collection. We should not claim something's done when it is not. You haven't had a chance to explain yourself. Your alliance with Letho. This is a good time. I suppose I owe it to you, Geralt. I don't know who they are exactly, nor who they're working for. I met Letho two months ago. He had escaped his pursuers in Edirne, found me and suggested we trade services. Our scouts and forest hideaways in exchange for the heads of Foltest and Henselt. A good offer to begin with that only became better when we revealed only part of our secrets. It then turned out that Letho was not alone. Seret and Orcs were meant to kill Henselt. My warriors were to help them. As you know, this never came to pass. Have you ever been to the Valley of Flowers? Dulblath Thanner is nothing more than a vassal state of the Nilfgaardian Emperor. They call it the Land of Free Elves, but the Scoyatel are not welcome. It's another in a string of painful lessons. But a free Pontar Valley could change that. It's been five years since the kingdom was established in Dolblathanna. Over 2,000 elves have settled there. Do you know how many children they've produced? A dozen or so. It's no longer the Valley of Flowers. It's the Valley of Sterile Elders. I'd love to see you tell Francesca that. Last one? What could Philippa want? Why does she care about Vergen being free, independent? Like all sorceresses, she likes to dabble in politics. Not one of them would hesitate to sacrifice another life if it furthered their goals. Quite a one-sided opinion. All? None? Life's rather colorful. It's not all black and white. Hmm. Shades of gray, I think. I have no illusions about mages. You know the fate which the Queen of the Valley of Flowers reserved for the Alvan youth. Enid Anglina, known also as Francesca Finderbear, another sorceress. In exchange for the creation of an Alvan kingdom in Dolblathana, she sent the Scoyatal to be butchered, while attacking Nilfgaard's foes from the rear. She had a chance to call it off. She could have opposed the Emperor of Nilfgaard and summoned the Squirrels to defend the Valley of Flowers. Why didn't she? In the name of a higher purpose. It's what the Emperor wanted. That's why we became bandits after the war. That's why elves are dying, our young murdered by the likes of Roach. And that's why I cannot trust Philippa Eilhart. Fair enough. That was a nice little chat, wasn't it? Quite a long chat, in fact. I'm glad we found him, you know. Catch up. Nothing, um... Nothing to it. Nothing to it, indeed. That's what I was going to say. And this leads around here again. Come on, is there something around here? This looks a bit... So I guess we'll go up this dreary looking passageway and find out what's there. Okay, but well, notice this little dot here now. I'm it's lonesome just... since I crossed the hill. I don't like oh, the wood and valley. Piss off. She, she's blah, a sport, blah, blah, Not very life. friendly now, is she? I mean, I, I was like, all, oh, you know, you should, you should, you should, you know, go girl, you know. Screw these stereotypes. You should just do what you want to do. So I'm thinking that... 
I know our succubus is this way as well, and I was thinking just then maybe I should have bought that book on them. It's not far. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a succubus is that way because that's dwarven catacombs to be sure, right? And it does say, it says, it says, it says, it says, uh, dwarven catacombs, yeah. So. If anything, you know, it's going to be around. So yeah, sorry guys, I'm going to run, run back here again. These guys are like, what the hell is that guy doing? Wait till I push you. Backwards. <laughs> backwards and forwards. And of course, <laughs> it's dark. So, she's not even there. Well, that's all right. I can fix that. We'll just find a reasonable place to uh, have a bit of a sit down. Uh, I want to meditate until noon, I guess. I mean, that works. And it's daytime! Lucky no one bothered me. Pretty sure it was her. I'll say it again. Humans are strange. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, that's... Okay, so we'll buy that. What else do we reckon is going to be there? I don't know what Brooks say is. Gargoyles... We can, we can just about afford that. I'm going to buy that as well. Might as well. We're going we're gonna to get some loot in there, so... So there we go. Uh, Gargoyle... Um, Theorists of magic still argue how Gargoyles should be classified. This author favours the school which claims they're a type of golem. For Gargoyles are nothing more than fancy sculptures brought to life by magic in order to perform menial duties. They can complete only the most rudimentary tasks and are often found guarding a territory. Maybe even catacombs or tombs or banners. Uh, so that's cool. Look at the place from which they are controlled once they are extinguished. Ah! And the Temptress. Succubus, often mistaken believed to be a higher vampire, is a post conjunction creature, therefore a visitor from another world trapped in our reality. The beast has the form of a comely female with hooves instead of feet. That's not so comely, I must admit. However, a partial animal appearance has no meaning for the use the monster entices like a consummate temptress. Those seduced with, with by succubus use their, lose their heads, as if it was a woman, and the beast accepts all attentions, leading to young, young men to ruin, drain their life force. Once seduced by a succubus, uh, once seduced by a succubus, one seduced, uh, becomes uh, making colic, loses appetite, and all interest in the world. But of strength, he, mo he moons around with a pale face and slides heavily. He also reeks of sulfur. Ah, to, ah he wants to be very, with a pleasant... Okay. Well, we'll see what that gets when us. If anything. Cloud has a dowry, is diligent. Now that it's a marvelously nice day, we're gonna head in some dark, dank catacombs again. Nobody said that the uh, video was too dark last time, so I've left it as it is. Um, I did, I did, you know, sort of acknowledge that it might have been, but. As nobody said anything about that, I'm going to leave it. And I forgot to sell some stuff there as well. Never mind. Oh, God. There's a child. Well, you can follow me if you want, but you're not going to like it. I promise you, you're not going to like it. So, yeah, yeah. Hmm. That one. Good, I can make a couple more potions of cat. Let's do that. Oh, and also, I know we're, we're like prepping and stuff here. Um, we're going to attributes and. Um, hmm. Succubus isn't there. Alright, well, we'll just crack on. Oh, 
Okay, this wasn't what I was expecting. So, what are you guys up to, huh? I suppose I could just trot over them and, you know, and ask them, but... Ah! You've finally given in. Started killing humans. Hey, Witcher! Started that a while ago, actually. Just wasn't something society was willing to acknowledge. Fortis death. Society acknowledged that. You know there's a price on your head. Yeah, I know. Too low for the risks involved, though. Hmm. It's a bundle to us, Witcher. We have to pay for everything. Weapons, food, information. Yorvith send you? Yorvith will never learn of this. Interesting. Well, uh... Let's get that done. Which is the charming. Alright. Be on my side for a bit, yeah? Thank you. That has handy. <laughs> Thanks. Don't risk it! We need to take him alive! Have that. One more. Oh, fine. There you go. There you go. You did. Was I using the wrong sword there? I don't think... No, it wasn't. Cool. Arrest warrant, huh? That's all you've got on you? That's pretty neat, though, yeah? Good little, uh... Thing to get? Is that a book? That'll be a quest item. I don't really need to read it, though, do I? I have a fairly good idea what it'll say. I don't mind finding it, though, honestly. It's not here, though, so I might already have one. Yeah, I've already got one. So, yeah. Where I wanted man. Armed and dangerous. Oh, you have no idea. Very pretty, such a nice looking game. Shame I can't go and look over that little waterfall, but it'll probably lead to my death. Yeah, I've seen a few of these around. Relics to a time gone by once again. The crossing point? Yeah, it is. Is there anything behind the waterfall? There's always things behind the waterfall. There's nothing behind the waterfall. Oh. I'm happy with that, honestly. There has to be things behind the waterfall. It's just the way things are. These game designers need to sort out what they're doing. They really do. There was before. Perfect place for traps. Give it a save. Yeah, we're getting somewhere. Ooh, oh, something moved over there. You see that? Something definitely moved. We'll go this way. It's a forest, but it's got an entirely different feel to the other forest we've just been into. Mostly because of the cliffs that surround it, but you know, and the music, I guess. Don't want to play. No, 
Okay, what are you? You're humans. I think. Behind them, they die. Is that it? Aha! Uh -huh. We can, yeah, you know, it was gonna happen, didn't we? I'm sure there's better things I can be dropping. Uh, a black sword. So, well, you know what? It's not half bad, is it? If I enchant that with something, and, and that is enchanting, en enchantable twice. Let's see what we've got. I can put a sun rune on it. And, um, it's just oil and stuff. There's no more runes. Still, 5%. Well, you know what? So I think that makes it better than our old one now. Bleeding 28%. Mm, it's still not as good. I mean, that suddenly wasn't very good anyway, so... It's close in it, but I think this one just pips it. Just pips it. Oh god. <laughs> Come on. Oh Christ. Well I'll let you deal with that. Okay, I'll just <laughs> Alright, I'm trying, I'm trying to use the, uh, alright, fine. I'm trying to use a the bomb there, but... Just get in there and wade amongst them. It's all good. What I do for a living, you know? Yeah. Oh, I was, using, I was using the wrong sword against those guys as well, but they were so weak, it didn't matter. Lovely. All this necker stuff. Am I going to need this? I wonder if, yeah, because I knew that was going to happen again. I've got this sword again, I might drop that. I wonder if, if making potions will uh, reduce the weight that I'm carrying. Uh, it's worth a go. So what should we make? A couple of bombs? Got plenty of this stuff, haven't we? Although I'm pretty sure bombs are going to be worth... Um, yeah, they're not going to uh, weigh less than... Can make oil. <laughs> Blade oil, though. Ah, oh, it's crafting and poison. Okay. Brown oil increases bleeding. Let me find that. I don't need rock because I've got those wet stones. I'll have a bit more of this again. It doesn't tell you how many you've already got, which is a bit of a shame, really. Resistances, that's good. What's this do? Yeah, I got some grape shot there. Increases maximum damage. Well, why not? I 
Go on, then. We'll, we'll make some bombs. Probably not the best. Oh, the swallow. We need swallow. Not that I've used it that often, really. Alright, how much are we, um... Over encumbered. Only by nine. Five. Oh, I know. Where's, where's the junk? It's nothing. Right. Everything. What's weighing me down? <sighs> A whole load of iron ore is what's weighing me down. Might regret that, but. I mean, if I was organized, if I was properly organized, what I should have done. Oh, still not enough. Um, what's it there with there? Uh, oh, Necker Trophy. Excellent stuff. What I should have done was, um, you know, taking it all back to the... Um, Fine, it's only loot. Storage. Still can't move? That hasn't gone down. What, have I not been dropping on my... Oh, God's sake. Yeah, okay. The worth stuff, though, you know, I... It's 90%. I can't use it though. I can't even use these. I know, guys. I'm so sorry. I've got to manage my inventory better. It's a useful thing. So, uh, yeah. I know, I know, I know the, 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 the exclamation mark is pointing up there somewhere. But, um, there's a big cabin thing. I think, I think that's where I'm supposed to be. I think I'm down, down there. Yeah, I really should have lightened some, lightened some stuff on in the, uh, in Bergen before I came here. But never mind, you know. You know. Okay. Over here. It's surprisingly light. Another save. Those are very tame crows. So, good old catacombs, huh? Good stuff. Ah, it's a long way down. Instantly just start grave robbing. Die. I've dealt with you guys before. Oh boy. No, get your sword back out. Get the sword back out. I should have knew you guys were going to do that. I should have bloody known. Can't backstab me now. Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't have come barging in here. You're right. I'm, I'm, I shouldn't have. You're quite glad. You're quite right to be annoyed. Sure, what I'm doing. Right, okay. I don't know. Orange and face? What did I just pick up? Oh, that's. Uh, 
It's not bad. I can enchant it. You know, it does slightly more damage. But, you know, it doesn't do the bleeding, incineration, adrenaline regeneration. Not that matters too much. Um, and I don't think I have any other runes to put on it. You know, I can put damage bonus on signs, which I still don't really quite know what that means. You know what, I may well use one of these on that. Because I might get a new suit of armor soon and I'm gonna I'll put them on it. Rather than, you know, on maybe something else, but yeah, I think that, that works pretty well. So yeah, I'm carrying fate around. Fine, I'll get rid of these. I'll drop me trousers. <laughs> and it No no. I'll keep fates, because it's it is a better sword. Just not yet. Oh, hang on. So we get loot. I mean, I'm looting. I have no bloody... Um... Not worth it. No, no, no. I want to actually attack the... <laughs> so I'm grave robbing, basically. That's what I'm doing. Geralt the Grave Robber. Geralt the child! Oh, it could be a dwarf. It could be a dwarf. We'll call it a dwarf. That's definitely a dwarf. You know, can we hear it for fate was definitely a thing. That was worth it. Kind of feel dirty, great, you know, doing this, honestly. Oh. Further, um, I don't do that. There we go. Further physics. That's smart. They didn't make it a canned animation. That's, that's, uh, that is good. So this place has been, come out, come out, wherever you are, undisturbed for many a year, and then I come along and uh, just do what Geralt does, basically. I'm just button mashing, there's, there's no real reason not to button mash because it works, you know? I have won the combat, it is done. And there is an, a further way down here. Hmm. Don't know why I put my sword away, really, because I know what's going to happen. Shit, you stink. I don't think it's the wraith that stinks. I think it's the body that you just uncovered after, you know, centuries of being embalmed. He just went over and was just like, yeah, whatever. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Yeah. So as well as, uh... Well, that was with all of them. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Right, so you can actually have a look at the corpse as opposed to, uh... Maybe this is part of the plot then. I suppose to look at the... Get one of something. Ah, I'm having that. Oh, no. Well, I, I love that as well. So the game knows you're going to loot the, the 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 tomb. It knows because it gives you stuff like this. Uh, notes of a hunt researcher. Let's wait for the uh, music to finish. Okay, it has. Uh, 
Spent my all my life researching the wild hunt without false modesty. I can say I read everything that exists on the subject. Furthermore, I saw the wraith uh, galopade with my own eyes three times. I managed to perform quick measurements on the second and third sightings as I acutely examined the observation or material in detail. Based on my knowledge and experience, I came to the crushing conclusion. I am certain that there is a terrifying alien force behind the hunt. A mind completely mad, yet still a mind, not pure chaos. I firmly... Note that the Wraith Raiders are some ones or some things, emirates, I know what I mean, and their deeds are governed by a plan. So further notes on the Wild Hunt, which is what Geralt is after. He is, uh, you know, he's got his own agenda on that. Come out, come out wherever you are. There's a lot of corpses in here to examine and stuff. Go away. So a leather enchantment? Well, I could come in handy at some point. No, I'm not going to break that in yet. Oh well. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, okay, nothing here that wants to attack me. Ah, I had to come this way anyway, unless I was going to go across there, which I was thinking maybe I would, but maybe that joins up with that. I don't know. We'll have to see. Meanwhile, there is more stuff to uh, grab and loot and stuff. Oops. <laughs> Wrong button. I was just going to say, this is all XP, but it isn't, is it? It's all essence of deaths and stuff, which is, uh, useful. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Not worth it. Orans. One Oren. But you know, you, you gotta uncover them all because you never know when, 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 when you'll find something useful. You know, that wild hunt thing. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. It's a shame that the, uh, you can't really examine the models for the wraiths too well because you know obviously you can come up with them they look awesome they really do I and all this corpse is decomposed almost completely one more ah this corpse is fresh someone brought it here recently ripped in many places. Hmm. Traces of sulfur. Interesting. The head's in far better condition than the rest of the body. Dark rings around the eyes, like an anemic. Just a few delicate bites on his neck. Let me... Let me look at the head! <laughs> Forearms are cut up pretty badly as if he had to defend himself. There's something embedded in the bone. I can't extract that without special tools. What do you need? Oh boy. He's grasping a few long hairs in his hand. These wounds, they're ripped open. Whatever attacked him was ferocious. fingernail marks all over his back. 
At least he had some fun before he died. Hmm, a book. Your body sizzled beneath my gentle caress. Sounds like Master Dandelion. He was young, just like the others. All the clues seemed to indicate a succubus. Mm -hmm. Talk to Dandelion about the Tome of Poetry. There's a lot of death around here. Essence of... <laughs> I don't know, man. An amethyst uh, stone, which is... Which is good amethyst dust. Now, why would coffins be here? Because they're not burying their dead in coffins, are they? They're entombing them. Hello. Three of you this time. Wonder how many more will turn out. Oops. <laughs> that area of effect hard sign is, uh, is, you know, don't use it around delicate objects. So, armor? This corpse is decomposed almost completely. This corpse is decomposed almost completely. Nothing on you guys. Who are you? Hello. What do you seek? Geralt of Rivia. I seek the standard of the Dun Banner. Who are you? Eckhart Hennessy. Handsome and color bearer of the Dun Banner. The best force to issue from the land of Kedwin. You may not remember me, but I remember you. Where from? I served in the Dun Banner. Liar! I fought beneath its standard at Brenna and at Vergen. The Battle of Brenna. The Nordlings shoulder to shoulder against the Black Ones. The Redanians led by De Reuter on the right. The Talus leading to Meria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? That's kind of unfair. Because it expects you to remember the conversation you had with the dwarf. Three episodes ago? I could look it up. It's all recorded, game. I could go and look it up. I'm going to go look it up. Okay, so... I, I think I know I've got to say he's got it wrong because the dwarves were on the left the left flank. But in order to look that up, what I had to do was um, check my video. Uh, I didn't check up any walkthroughs or anything like that. It's uh, I'll, I'll tell you where it is. It's episode 17, about 37 and a half minutes or so. Talking to Cecily, he says that. You can go and check it. I didn't check any um, walkthroughs. It's purely because of what you know I, I know within the game. Um... But I also forgot what he asked in the first place, so I, I told him I'd come back another time, redid the conversation, had to take a screenshot of, you know, the line where he's asking stuff, so then I could compare that with what Cecil was saying, so I know where this discrepancy is, and therefore get the answer. Um, now I have also checked in here, I've checked, you know, in my, in my genealogy, so I, was, I was checking for, you know, if Cecil knew anything. Um, He's, uh, he's, you know, he's down here somewhere. I did check Cecil's thing anyway. See if it was in there. And I checked this to see if it was in here. And it, it isn't. And I think the game's just been a little too clever for its own good. Unless I'm missing something, which goes, I apologise. But I just think it's been a little too clever there. Putting a, you know, a line, you know, in a conversation. For me, what's like, like three, four hours of gameplay ago. And then, uh throwing it at you here with no notes or anything. I mean, if you've had that conversation, the correct answer should be highlighted. Because um, I think it was optional going to talk to him, so you, you earned that. 
However, I'm going to say he's got it wrong. I see. Yes. The battle of there you Rhea. see. The Nordlings shoulder to but shoulder Tamari against wasn't on the, the Black left. Ones. The Dwarves were. The Redanians were. led by De Reuter on the right. Natalis leading Tamaria on the left. A splendid sight, was it not? You're mistaken. The Redanian regiments were on the left. The Tamarians took the center. Correct. Hang Perhaps up. you speak the truth. Try me again. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? So I'm gonna have to pause the video now, rewatch the video that I've just watched on my own, you know, from my channel. It's it, it. Oh, hang on. You hear hear this? I'm, you know. You captured the dumb banner standard. See, I'm listen. I'm I'm watching it. Am I? You know, it's it's ridiculous. I don't know. It wasn't mentioned. Maybe I haven't done my research correctly. Or maybe I can't be bothered to watch the video again. And if I haven't been recording that, how am I, how am I supposed to know this? How am I supposed to know this? I don't know. I just think the game has been a little too clever for its own good here. And it expects you to know things that aren't really very prominent within the game. So I'm just going to wing it. And if we're going to fight him, we're going to fight him. So let's drop down a save and get this go. I see you've returned. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell me, for this you must know. Who was chief commander of the Nilfgaardians at Brenna? <laughs> it's so tempting. I might have to anyway. All right, I'll put my guineas down. Uh, this uh, Menno Kohorn was the dude. Menno Kohorn. I am beginning to believe you. <laughs> Menno Kohorn, the repulsive head hound of the Nilfgaardian pack, but a great commander. He will again let the Nordlings blood. Would you agree? I don't even remember hearing that name. I don't know, he's probably dead. Your memory has suffered after death. Kohorn perished at Brenna. You are vigilant. I could not deceive you. Because I am of the Dun Banner. Perhaps you did fight at Brenna. It was so long ago I may have forgotten you. But Vergen is another matter. I can't answer for the state of your memory. You were right. Memory often fails us after death. Alright, so I'll fluke it. I cringe to admit I've forgotten who commanded the armies during the Battle of Vergen. Oh, for God's sake! the most important day of my life. And the last. Be so good as to remind me. It was this one. It was... Uh... uh Cause I, I, I'm, I've just I've just watched the thing with Cecil. It was definitely these two. Def I do know this one. <laughs> Seltkirk led Edern. Vandergrift led us. Well done. Not all know that. Some believe that the kings commanded the armies during the battle, or that their mages did. Do you believe me yet? Not yet. Oh come but on! I shall when you tell me how you survived the massacre at Vergen. Seltkirk spared me. You wear the wool coat of the Dun Banner. If not for that, you would be a dead man. Try once more. Well done. Not all know that. Okay. Some believe I get that another the kings go. Commanded the well, there already is another one. Believe me. No. I, I reckon I got to. I, I, sorry, yeah, I didn't get spared. I was taken prisoner. Most of the Dun died. The survivors withdrew south. The fires blocked our way back to our lines and we fell into Biggerhorn's trap. I know, the cowardly bastard. Uh, I didn't you say have that. proven that you served in the Dun Banner. May I take the standard? Why do you desire it so? It will help me lift a curse. Curses are of no import to me. I should have just killed you! It has stopped King Hensel's army from advancing. 
The unicorn has returned. He stands at Vergen's gates. With your help, he'll avenge the Dun Banner. The standard lies in the sarcophagus. Oh. Take it. You will also find the sword of Colonel Gondor. Now, it is yours. Thank you. Gondor! Where have you left your mind? There are no horses here. True. I would gladly drink with a brother from Brenna, but I am an unfettered soul. Strong drink means nothing. Tastes of nothing. Perhaps I miss that most in death. Guard the standard. I grasped it firmly even as they cut me down. Has he gone? Oh, thank Christ for that. Yeah, I didn't particularly enjoy that. Didn't particularly enjoy that. I would prefer just fighting him. It would have been a lot... I don't care how much I had to, you know, redo it. It would have been a lot less hassle. Uh, it's in the sarc... What, what sarcophagus? There is no sarcophagus here, you troll! There's no... It's not even here in the first place. Oh, there it is. Uh, right, and there's a sword too. Hooray! And can I walk? Cool, right, let's see what this sword's like. Uh, it's nice, it's a steel sword, and it does slightly less damage than uh, Xenthia's sword. But it's got more knockdown and stuff. I will, of course, keep it and upgrade it, because it's it, I can upgrade it three freaking times, so that's something I'll look into. Um, let's see what it looks like on our back, actually, it's something I've been doing. That looks fancy, doesn't it? Yeah, that looks pretty nice. All right, but for now, yes, we'll be t we'll be using our this one, and I'll try and get fate on the go as well. So uh, that's it for this episode. No, I've run over a little bit, but I, you know, kind of wanted to get something done, and I have. Next episode, I shall continue to explore and loot these caverns. Or, you know, let's go back, see that line about the succubus, and uh, see what else we can find. But yeah, that would that episode that that flew by. Um, that episode, because it was, you know, didn't feel like we did a lot, really, but uh, we are making slow and steady progress. Let me know how you uh, enjoyed that, and if I miss anything about that, because I'm really curious about what they were thinking with that little uh, section there with that dude. It's like, you almost, you know, answer question three. No, you know, I, you know the, the answers were, as far as I could see, were not immediately, they weren't prominent within the game. Uh, so you had to have like really detailed knowledge. I mean, I fluked it. I, I absolutely fluked it. But for me to have to go back to an episode that was like, you know, four hours ago, find that conversation, look it up, and still not know everything that I needed to know, you know. Uh, I should have got the big horn thing, I think. But, you know, I... Watching that all over again once was tedious enough. Um, you know, it's, it's too much. It's, it's You shouldn't have to do that to, to you know get that resolution I think anyway maybe you guys will prove me wrong and I'll be something obvious but I, I could not find the answer within the game in easy reach and I think I, I, I got at least most of it within the game so it should have been there for me to look up or at least you know utilize without having to watch a video and of course if I hadn't recorded the video in the first place it would have been impossible rather than you know, with an internet search which thankfully I did not have to do so right then save the game and exit thank you very much for watching again i look forward to your thoughts and i see you later do live